everybody to more Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Alright, so we have to figure out um, how to get to the sky. So let's go to Kagariko. <coughs> Excuse me, I burped there. <coughs> Anyways, we need to figure out how we are going to get to the sky. So, who else to ask but our great friend Shad, who happens to be here in Kakariko. But however, we are first going to talk to our friendly, handy, nice, favorite person in the world, Mr. Golden Wolf, as he is over here, willing to talk to us and willing to teach us another of his wonderful hidden skills. Why can't you be that scary? Really? I think monsters would take you a bit more seriously if you were at least as terrifying as Mr. Great Hero here was. We meet again. There are but a few hidden skills left for me to teach you. I have warned you of this before, but if you fail to execute the hidden skill I'm about to teach you, your life may be forfeit. Do you wish to master the skill? Yes. Very well. Before we begin, I must test you to ensure that you have mastered our la the last secret I taught you, the mortal draw. Now then, come at me! Wait, and draw! Excellent, it appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. I'm seeing my recording glitching here, guys. Let me... Let me just a bad connection. One of the basic techniques is the jump attack. It inflicts great damage, but none can call it effective against multiple foes. Making one noise. To perform the jump strike, prepare a jump attack, but focus power in your blade. The surge of the blade releases a can strike all the enemies around you. This is the jump strike. Lock on it with L and then press blah 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 Right. I did not mean to do that. Awesome job, Lair Link. Um, hmm, impressive. Do not forget the timing for releasing the power just you just felt. The sixth hidden skill, the jump strike, has been passed on. <laughs> Seriously, Link, you have knee knees of steel. No, no, no joke, man. No joke. There is but one hidden skill left for me to pass on to you. You are already endowed with the strength required of the hero. Do not already feel the courage do you not already feel the courage granted by the strength as it guides you step by step toward your true enemy? Believe in your strength. Continue push to push forward unflinchingly and without strength from your path. May we meet again. Woo Alright guys. <coughs> Okay, that was, um, obviously the golden wolf person, the hero of the past, I guess, that's what he's called. So would his name be Link, too? I wonder. <laughs> right, let's go in through here. Instead of us going in to the bar and having them tell us where Shad is, I'm gonna go ahead and just figure it out for myself. Well, there's Gorons here! Darbus! Who are you, little human? The young lady's acquaintance? Um, Darbus happened to hear that an acquaintance of one of our mid brothers has lost a, had lost her memory and was in some trouble. Me? I came down here because I have a little something to discuss, discuss with the shaman. Ah, I've been waiting for you, Link. 
fortune has smiled upon us. If things go well, we should be able to help Ilya recover her memory. That's so. Do you know Thomas' friend, Shad? Well, it seems he is researching the heavens, and he has come here to see the statue in the basement of the sanctuary. And, as I have learned, when Ilya was saved, she overheard someone talking about the rod of the heavens, or something like that. The Goron elders believe that the, to help her regain her lost memories, we must piece together the fragments of her past. Which means, if we work our way backwards from this very place where she lost her memories, we may be able to find something that will restore it. And we must retrace Ilya's path. I am certain it was Telma who cared for her before she arrived in this village, was it not? If you would best speak to her first, please take this to Telma. Renato's letter. It's strange to say it, but to be honest, I cannot abide Telma's company. We have a fighting chance, Link. Link, I remember being saved from a dangerous situation by someone. Someone who told me about the Rod of the Heavens. But now I can't remember the who, why, where, or what it all means. Do you think I'll recover my memories? I regret that a complete stranger like yourself got caught up in all of this because of me. I'm so sorry. Uh, we were gonna get caught up in it anyways. You just happened to get kidnapped. Really. Like, Link, why haven't you tried to explain the situation to her? We're childhood friends. Shad, hey. Oh my, color me surprised if it is a Link. What a coincidence, meeting you in a place like this. How very odd. Say, old boy, do you remember what I told you before about the legend of the sky beings known as the Okooka? Well, yes, well, there's something about it that's been bothering me, so I came here to stoop about. To think that you would appear here with such perfect timing. You really are a rather, rather extraordinary fellow, aren't you? I found it at long last. Observe this statue. It's the same as the one in the manuscript my dear father left me. There are many similar statues around Hyrule, but this one seems to be different. Here, look at the belly. There's something written there. You see? This, too, was in my father's notes. It was called Skywriting, I believe. Awaken us with the words that break the seal. Yes, indeed. That is what it says. Wait a moment. Isn't that Ilya, a friend of yours? It's simply tragic how she lost her memory. And that rod of the heaven is she mentioned. I'm sure it has something to do with the word that breaks the seal. Hmm, isn't there any way to restore her memory? I'm certain it would help us figure this all out. <sighs> so, in order to get to, uh, for us to get to the sky, we have to restore Ilya's memories. Ugh! You're kidding me. I mean, she'll, rem she'll remember us and be all annoying and tell us what to do with Epona and blah, blah, blah. Whatever, guys. We're gonna go ahead and teleport to Castle Town. It feels weird that we're almost done with this game. No joke, guys. We're almost done with it, actually. It feels really weird. It's very strange. Mr. Link! Wait! I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Link! <sighs> From Renato. We just want to see Renato. Postman! You're failing at your duties. Just saying, dude. You're failing epically at your duties. We've already got this covered, man. Uh, huh. In truth, this isn't exactly, I'm figuring out that this isn't exactly a 100% completion. Because I'm missing the, uh, I haven't figured, I haven't looked at any of the dig caverns really. I haven't gotten all the overlord, uh, overworld chests and all those things. But I'm getting all the important things. The pieces of heart, the weapons, the bottles, and the post holes. Those are the important things and the storyline. That's all that matters to me.
You, lady who needs to button her shirt up. Ooh, well, if it isn't from Renato, the shaman. All this writing, and he doesn't bother to mention a thing about little old me. Honey, that is what I call rude. Well, that's not accounting for the foolishness of a man, and at least I understand Elias' situation now. Oh, of course I will lend a hand for that adorable little girl. Hmm, what else do I know? The first one to bring Elia to this shop was that doctor. Maybe he knows something, but he's a crusty old bat, that's for sure. Ah, I've got it. Honey, you go ahead and take this to him. This magic little paper will get that car to talking. The invoice. Woo. It will sure would be nice if she started remembering things soon. Eh, Lake? Right. Okay, so we need to go talk to the doctor. And show him this wonderful little piece of paper that speaks of an astronomical sum of rupees that even probably Link could not hold within his wallet. And that says a lot, guys. Do you have a second? Do you know a guy named Giovanni? My girl here puts out, put out a missing persons report on him. I think she's trying to make me jealous. Strange things are happening, and some people are even saying it's the work of evil ghouls. It's kind of become an urban legend in a way. Your girl? Hmm. Well, we can't visit Giovanni until we actually get all 60 souls, and we will have to go through the cave of ordeals. Yes, the cave that is very ordealing to go through in order for us to get all the souls. Yay! But of course, we need to get through the cat city in the sky before we can do anything. Huh? Eh, what's that? Just as I was wondering who it might be, I see it's the Admiral Young Lad who was willing to help Zora Boy for nary a single rupee. Just what does he want, Lad? Physical? You've got some money, don't you? <coughs> By the way, that girl Leah didn't mention anything about me, did she? Well, I'm sorry, old sir, but here. Ah! <coughs> Look, I can't bear this up right now. I can see Thomas hired you as some sort of heavy to strong on me, but she'll have to wait. Look, lad, if I had been telling you to tell that sudden sat for her statue that the young lady had, I would have been able to get the money. I see, I actually spilled medicine all over it, that little carving, which made it sting awfully. I put it outside to dry, but then, well, it was stolen. Who goes around stealing people's stuff like that? What a world. You always have to be a god, eh? Dun, 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 dun. Hug, look, Mr. Heavy. At any rate, neither the money nor the carving is here, so I can't repay you. Now to work, to work. <coughs> I never saw my voice. Right. Well, we mentioned something about medicine, so I'm pretty sure if we take the smell of the medicine... Yep. Learn a new scent? Yes, why we shall. And actually, we can get up here. <laughs> and break a few of the codger's pots. Kick open this chest. Get a nice 20 rupees. And break some more of the frugal old man's money. And whee! Scare every living person in the town. I like to pick things up! But I don't like to stop payment because it hurts my, makes my feet hurt. Whee! I love scaring people! Alright, let's follow this huge green particle cloud. I like green. Green is a fun color. Ew! Oh. Well, sometimes if you hit the uh, guards, they will give you some money. Louise? You're looking for the wooden statue that Illy had, aren't you, dear? I think it's a coincidence that I hadn't known it got stolen from the doctor's place. No. Yes, I'll admit it. I took it. But then I was attacked by some sort of skeletal dog beast who took it from me. I don't know why those beasts were after her statue. I thought it likely that she was in a dangerous spot, though. Those fiends look just outside the southern gate. Unfortunately, they only come out at night. Another thing, they always move around as a pack. You won't be able to get that statue back unless you give them all a thrashing. That statue sounds like a key to getting Ilya's memories back. You must get it back. 
Alright. Well, thank you, Louise. It was very nice of you to inform us of where we need to go. <laughs> Scaring everybody. What is everybody scared of a wolf? I mean, if it's not attacking anybody, it, there's nothing to be that terrified of. Whatever, guys. I guess it's time we wait for Nightfall. Which hopefully won't be as long as I think it will be, but it might. setting so yeah I cannot speak today guys you know what I'm gonna use the handy dandy slingshot that I haven't used in like forever We're actually going to need a bunch of rupees for this next part that we're doing. But that's going to be a while until we actually have to use those rupees. But still, more rupees is a nice little thing to gain. Okay, let's go ahead and transform back into a wolf. Because it's easier to fight the uh, stall hounds as a wolf link than human link. Come on, link! You can tell there's a uh, claw shot points and there's a chest down there. However, guys, we cannot reach that chest. I know it's a shame because, well, the thing is with that chest is it requires a different ability, which we will get from the city in the sky, obviously. No, we're going to get it from something else. Don't ask me. Come on! We're wasting time! I mean, this set is already going to be astronomical, such as that invoice was. Chase your tail, Link! Chase it! Chase it! Chase it! Ta -da 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 -da. Here we go! Stone hounds, everybody! As the as Luis said, we need to give them all a nice a jolly good thrashing. Before we can obtain the stone statuette that we need. <laughs> and there it is! Whoa, we got it! The wooden statue! Let's go ahead and pick up these rupees and warp to 
uh, Kakariko?